it is episode 38, 38 of Recap Attack, and uh, with me, as always, is... Who are you? I am, uh, Mr. Bullet Gun Stab Wounds. Bullet Gun Stab Wounds, uh, some fat Mexican, I don't know, he just showed up. Fat DJ Mexican. Yeah. That just showed up recently. Okay, and uh, of course, I'm Amir. That's not... He's not Amir. He he's killed Amir. Amir. <laughs> he's, uh, he's Amir's doppelganger. Mm. Yeah. Alex. It's Alex. <laughs> uh, Masters? Yeah. <laughs> Alex we never Masters. told you about that. I don't think I'm no. familiar with what A cop doing. one time came to his house while I was there. A cop? A cop. cop. Wow. He was looking for someone in the neighborhood, wondering if <clears throat> we knew where he was. Right. And he asked for our names, and Sergio was like, Sergio Solis. And I was just like, Alex Masters. <laughs> yeah, he just stood up like that. I didn't say anything until after the cop left. And then I asked him, like, why did you say Alex Masters? Because the cop ran a check on the name. Oh, what if he was like a I know, that's what serial I child rapist? What's wrong with the you? name of Scott but, Summers' brother from X Men? Yeah. Still, still that, like, that could be a real per. That probably was a real person. Then, then I'm, Hold on, I'm googling it. Alex Masters. Okay. If this is a real guy, and apparently he's a musician. Oh, there Good you job. go. You're, you're officially a musician. That's probably a child serial child rapist. A serial child I'm rapist. Fine with At that. the age of uh, uh, what were you, fourteen? Oh, sure. fantastic! Yeah. I, I don't know why Alex Masters sounds like a name of like a forty-five-year-old like mogul. For some reason. <laughs> to me, that that just does not sound like a child's name. If a child told me, "Hey, I'm Alex Masters," I'd be like, "No, you're not. You're <laughs> well, not Alex <laughs> Masters. <laughs> you're something else. You're just well, not like, that." That's Shut like up. that's like my brother, um, and I can't even imagine my my stepdad when he was younger being named Gary. Gary. Gary's a Gary's a a man's name, and when you chi- call exactly a, like, call a child. That's a Gary, what I mean. It, it sounds. It no, feels fine. I don't, Gary's fine. It's it names like it. Murray. Murray is an old man name. Murray, Murray is, is an old man, man name. You can't you be can't. like, hey Murray, come here. It's, it's weird. Come here, little Murray. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Murray. He's so cute. Yeah, he like, doesn't really. Yeah. Now uh, he's like a dog. <laughs> whatever. Can't name a dog Murray. Right. I would yeah. name a dog Murray. Well, no, Mexicans don't name. Us Mexicans don't name dogs people names, for the most part. Like, it's always like, oso, which is bear, right, or like, right, right. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. objects or animals or things, but yeah. never like, I, that's Stacy, my dog. <laughs> or like, yeah. you know what I mean? Just, we don't do that. My, uh, my uncle in Egypt, he has uh, two, uh, two dogs. Mm. Like one, <laughs> one is uh, named Mussolini. That's tight. After Benito. Of course. Right, okay. right. And the other one is uh, Hillary after Clinton. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. I like that. Give yeah. him a high five for me. Did, didn't no. he want to get another dog and name it Bush, but he never did? That's too much. <laughs> I, I don't know. The thing is, it, he, uh, it's not an uncommon thing that if you name, <clears throat> give a, a dog a person's name, you would, uh, in the Middle East, that it would be after someone you dislike. Oh. Mm. Okay. Juicy. So that they're your dog. Right. And you're like not feeding it and like kicking it. No, you, he loves the dog. Like he, he cooks a meal for his what? dog. But the idea, the idea is that they're under you. I exactly. Guess. Right. That's the idea that it's this is his my dog. Aunt, it's his pet. Right. right. It's right. subservient yeah. and completely dependent on him. I, I like that. I like that. If I could, I'd kill you. The Middle East, the Middle would, East is pretty kill. tight. I, I must admit, some of the things they do, pretty tight. A, a lot of the other things they do... Not so tight. Not so tight. Kind of, so kind of loose. Out. But I dig that. I dig that. Yeah. I really do. I, I like that a lot. Yeah. They get pretty loose out there. <laughs> All right, we uh, got speak- a lot to talk about. Yeah, yeah. So a lot. Big. Yeah. It, like of, we might go past now. Speaking of being loose <clears throat> out there. Oh yeah. This is. <laughs> <laughs> this <I don't>, is <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go for what it. What is this? What type of culture is this? Okay. Actually, let, let's introduce the bit before we even start discussing. Right. 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 Okay. Uh, so I was just. Browsing the internet as I do. Right. Yeah. When this I stumbled upon this. <laughs> browsing the internet. Yeah. This is how we type when we browse the internet. This is how I do it, apparently. <laughs> yeah. if you're, Even though yeah, you're the one searching, you're, this you're, is you on your. Yeah, you're the one without the keyboard. Sorry. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's gross. It's yeah. wonderful. But uh, <laughs> some shit went down in in Shenzhen, China. Shenzhen. Shenzhen. That just sounds like, that already sounds bad. I'm, uh, yeah. I'm like thinking, okay, what happened in Shenzhen? An angry father mm-hmm. bites off his six-year-old son's penis. 
I don't even know what? what would bring him to that. That is yeah. so crazy. What? He bit it off. So here's here's the crazy part. Did you read? I, I, I read the first half. I didn't read the whole thing. I got okay. some newspaper and I. Witnesses said right. the 32-year-old 32, 32 32 year father was walking with his naked son right. and four-year-old daughter on the street Thursday when he commanded the boy to bite his penis. Bite the, the boy bite the father's penis. I think yeah, so. Yeah, I think that's what that is. Right, yeah. okay. Because <clears throat> it'd be crazy. Let and me just stop if he could quick. bite his own penis. Is it? I don't know. I am completely ignorant about the happenings of China. Right. And by ignorant, I mean I just don't know. So I will right. ask. Is it? And thing? when is <laughs> it? His penis biting Okay thing? for a father to walk with his children butt naked down the street. A. B. For... A, a person's kids to bite their genitalia in public, or in general, mm. and see what the hell's wrong with China. When is for, it's not, uh, D? When is it ever okay to for genitalia to be bitten? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, I mean, never no, teeth. You know? no, yeah, teeth. no teeth. No teeth. No teeth. You t I, uh, any fourteen-year-old girl with a boyfriend can tell you that. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No teeth. No teeth. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, well. For, as, addressing the naked part, if they could be the white trash of, uh, oh, of China. Touche. I'm not throwing yeah. China under the bus. I'm just saying. Yeah. So. Because I'm sure okay. if they read about the yeah. happenings of like South Carolina, people are like, what "The hell's wrong with Americans?" Yeah. You know what I mean? But we're not all like that. So I don't know. I mean, it could be they they're just generally nuts because <clears throat> remember that when they caught a uh, what was it? They caught a monkey and they thought it was an, a space alien. Yeah. Yeah. But it would it, come on, on, China. To be <laughs> fair, the monkey was like it was starved and like had some horrible disease, so it looked really fucked up. It didn't look like a monkey. Still though, why was the I'm first pretty thought, sure. Why was the first thought space alien? <laughs> Well, I, actually, I won't comment on that because my people are the the ones that believe in the chupacabra and all that bullshit. So I'll I'll, I'll leave that one on the table. Okay. That, but, that's but that's anyway. an airport. Right, back to when, this. When the boy refused, the man attacked his son and bit off the boy's penis. Bit off his son's penis. Bit it off. Do you realize how hard you would have to bite to sever a man's genitals? Crazy, crazy difficult. What's insane is there are witnesses. So they Ugh. saw like a grown man pick up a boy. Bolting <laughs> it! And like, oh, wow. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they no, saw that. It, well, someone subdued him. They, yeah, they, they gave they, him the They stopped him and. Nice. Because yeah. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> everybody in China is like a karate master. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the five finger death punch? Or exactly. Five finger death punch or whatever? Yeah. Um, but That's... this reminds me of two. Mouth on penis stories. That I ended, like where this show is that going ended, already. That ended tragically. Okay, okay now I don't want to worry about it. One was uh, a couple years ago. A bunch of Jewish boys were all diagnosed with, uh, I believe it was herpes. Like young boys. Jewish boys. Jewish boys. Boys. Yes. Not young men. Not young men. Okay, boys. Herpes. Boys. Not boys. Young children. Right. Okay. Boys. Children. Boys. Uh, with <clears throat> herpes, and they linked them all to one particular uh, moil. And mm. a moil is the one, if you don't know, is the one who performs the circumcision right. at the breast. Oh, Jesus. I already and don't like where this is going. in some orthodox versions of it, they will uh, kind of, after they make the incision, they will cauterize the wound using right. saliva. Oh, fuck. And the man had herpes in his mouth. And so he gave oh. all these boys herpes. Wow. Not, they didn't even have a chance. What the hell, dude? They didn't even have a chance to get it on their own. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do it. At least enjoy it. Nice. Exactly. <laughs> no, come on. Wow. Uh, wow. The second one was a guy. Was but a, that wasn't necessarily perverted. Like, no, it wasn't. Perverted. It was like ritualistic. Yeah. Okay, okay. But the guy just. But it's still like he just happened to have herpes. He right. had herpes. Wow, and that should have stopped shitty. being a moil. That's really shit. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. So second story. Sorry. Second story me. was a guy getting head uh, in his car. I like that. Okay, which is cool. It's awesome. That's fantastic. Right. Yes. Yeah. Uh, until 
his, his parked car was rear-ended and she Oh! Bit. Oh! Yeah. A butt! Oh. Okay, hold on. If, if you're like, you don't see that coming. You're just no. like, oh, this is fantastic. What? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's gone. Exactly. Okay, and she's like the horror of like her mouth closed, but there's right. cock in her mouth. Exactly. And then she like moves her head, but there's still cock in her mouth. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here's what, here's that. Okay, so I imagine he's getting roadhead. Bam. She hits her head on the steering wheel, I imagine. Chomp. No more penis. Right. That's that happens like this. You yeah. know what I mean? Instantly. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, your dick's fucking not on your dick anymore. Yeah. Your dick is not <laughs> on your dick. This it's guy is holding a child, dick. like munching on And you know he's fighting back. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, not a clean cut. This is no, this is like ninety times worse. Yeah. Oh, it did reattach it though. Yeah, they did. I saw that. I read they that. did reattach yeah. it. Yeah. I but I mean they I read the warning. The following story includes disturbing content that may and may not be suitable for children. I was expecting to see it. Oh, yeah, whatever. Really yeah. crazy. Kind of. Well, you see the the, the kid in the, in the but he's like bed. He's blurry. It looks like Japanese porno almost. Which almost. is which almost. is awful by the way. The, the yeah. ga- gang. You don't get anything out of that. No, you know. I'm like I might as well be watching like uh, when you Teletubbies or something. I might as well be dra- drawing it myself. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A boob. A boob. <laughs> no, you, you would have better resolution. When you <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's terrible. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why. Japanese and the dude was fifty three. Yeah. The dude yeah. was fifty three. Clearly, he was. I hope not they, fit. I hope someone bites his dick off in prison. That's what yeah. I hope happens. Well, well apparently he's into that. Actually, you're right. I hope oh, nobody bites his dick. Well, he asked. He asked the kid to bite his dick. Oh. You know, he could just be crazy. He's gonna be less crazy wherever they put him away? No, they kill him. Did they say what happened? <laughs> they didn't say what no, happened. They, they might have just no, killed no. him, for all we know. Like, whoops, so. he died. Yeah, yeah. Of <laughs> He <laughs> fell down 90 flights of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> he fell fiery, fiery <laughs> stairs. No, that, that, that's what this was. It was he a push fell, and a shove. Right, right. Yeah. Home. <laughs> he yeah. fell on my gun. <laughs> he <laughs> fell on a bullet at high velocity. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> His head fell on it. That's awesome. Yeah. Exactly. All right. So, oh. <sighs> Jesus. All right. Next story. Next story Moving is on. uh. Speaking of, of just horrible things. Horrible. You know what horrible else is things. horrible? I do know a lot of things that are horrible. Uh. The lack up until now of a solid release date for Diablo Three. Correct. Yeah. Okay. It's been okay. Here's what happened from my perspective. Uh, Blizzard says, oh, Diablo 3's in the works. Bull fucking shit. I already don't believe it. I'm like, I, I'll believe it when I see it. Just like Ultra, or just like Marvel vs. Capcom 3. They said, oh, we're releasing this game. Bull fucking shit. I don't believe it. And then I see a screen cap of, like, the, the title. Diablo with the three lines. Yeah. I'm like, oh, maybe they are. Or maybe they're just trolling us. They, right. they at least spent some time to hire a guy to draw that. When, right. when did this happen? Uh, when did, when did, like... Oh, God, I was in, I was in college. Exactly. Uh, like, I want to say it was like 2005, 2006. <laughs> I want to say 2006, seven. Yeah, that's right. In that ballpark, yeah. probably yeah. around there. Okay, so from that date that we saw that picture, how long till we actually saw in-game footage of the game? It was a year later, right? It was a year later before you saw in-game, but it was very, very rough. Yeah, yeah. it was. Although uh, they, any other company would have released that. Yeah, yeah, and we all would have ate it up like something. Exactly. But, but Blizzard has this thing about doing things, you know, for the fans to make them like just stick yeah. forever yeah. to these games. Yeah. So I mean, what they're doing now, I'm sure, is just gonna blow whatever they showed up showed out of the water, because you could tell that when they did show that, they literally had some guy probably work for two days straight, and like you, they told him two days before to, you have to have this done. Yeah. <laughs> By yeah. this date. I like, that's that. two days yeah. from now. He's like, you get it done or you're fired. <laughs> so that was 2008. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So then, or actually it might have been 2009. I don't know. It was yeah. in that ballpark. Yeah. And then nothing for a while. Oh, yeah. And then came yeah, they the, like, the, they the they test like, beta. They like completely skipped it at a BlizzCon. Yeah. They're yeah. Like, like, we talked oh, about Oh, we it. totally didn't. Talk yeah, about we're here. totally not talking right. about Diablo right. 3. Exactly. Go, go fuck yourself if you want data or, or info on that. Yeah. But then they released the the beta. Yeah. Okay. The beta was so limited that like three people or four people maybe, right? Maybe, maybe five total people got to play it. Not really. There was a lot, but yeah. it was still such a limited amount. Yeah. 
uh, compared to how many fans and people that actually wanted to play it. It wasn't an open beta. It was invite only. Mm -hmm. and it was super limited. It still right. is. And like, it is, yes, on. absolutely. And the problem was that you could not say anything about the game. You couldn't report anything. You couldn't record. You yeah. couldn't take pictures. It was like freaking Nazis, right? Yeah. Um, and then nothing... You know, they're still doing the beta, but you don't know any information about it. Mm -hmm. Although, no, now they can show uh, some footage. Oh, can they? From yeah. the beta? From the beta. Okay, well that, that I've has seen, changed. Uh, I've seen the boss fight at the end of it. Right. But I've not seen anything else. You've seen the boss fight? I've seen the boss fight. Like the, the final boss fight with Diablo? Not the final, but the boss fight in the beta. Oh, in the yeah. beta. Okay, okay. In the beta, because it's only one level. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, so... Um, uh, where was I? Oh! So 2009-ish, or maybe 2010 when the beta happened, and just, I want to say Wednesday or Thursday, they released the date. Okay, it's 5.15 of 12. Yeah. I still don't fucking think that's going to be the release date. <laughs> I think that's the date that they push it back again. Yeah, probably. You know, it'll I be like, 5.15 of 2012, thanks for pre-ordering, now wait another month or two. Now wait till Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, exactly. You can download it now. I didn't read That's what record. I heard, yeah. You can download it now, you just can't do shit with it. I yeah. still don't think that it's going to be released. I really am so skeptical. Well, what I, what I hated is at last BlizzCon, <coughs> when they announced, uh, you know, Miss Pandaria and all that other mm. shit for WoW, there were, people were like, what about Diablo 3? They had like a whole panel on Diablo 3, and they're like, when's it coming out? They're like, it's on schedule. Like, what does that mean? Fuck you guys. It's on schedule for when? Pretty much. Like, for when it's when's done. When's the date? Yeah. Eat a big <laughs> bowl of dicks. <laughs> for when Get it's the fuck out of here and quit asking me. Right. Yeah. That's terrible. But uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm super oh, fucking yeah, I'm going to play the shit. I'm not I'm paying sure. for that game until it's in my hands, and then I'll pay for it. I'm yeah. not pre-fucking pre paying anything. I'm not... Right. Pre-downloading shit because I know they're gonna fucking push it back. Yeah, I'm that skeptical. I'm just as skeptical Until there's as there's a box in the store. Exactly. I'm just as skeptical as Duke Nukem Forever. I never thought that game would come out ever. Oh no. Same type of thing as Diablo Three. Oh, maybe not as bad, but still. Although if we're if we are to go with what was promised of the game, it technically never did come out. Yeah, you're right. Never yeah. did. You're very right. They just killed it. Mm -hmm. Oh well, that game got deleted three times. Yeah. Once accidentally. The second time. Probably on purpose. Yeah. I say that because there's still a pending lawsuit about it. Yeah. Um, but and they kept changing the engine on top of that. Like, yeah. Even the parts that they had completed, they just yeah. kept like yeah. scrapping and rewriting. So yeah. who knows if that happened with Diablo three? Actually, we don't know. It well, I know it they, took forever, dude. They. I doubt that they had like I, the uh, the lack of. Right. I don't. I don't think it was. I think Blizzard runs a tight ship. I just think that they said, "Hey, we're not using." Jack shit from uh, any old assets. Right. We're rewriting every right, little. Right, that's what I was saying. Not a bad thing to do, actually. Yeah, yeah. I think. No. Because like the Starcraft to Starcraft two took how many years? Ten. Ten. Ever. Ten. That's what I mean. Like, I mean that game is so like beloved, not only and by people but by nations. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You'd well, think they'd be like, oh, we need to crank this sucker out and like make more money. No. They, no, but it's more from a the, business they aspect, did support. You think. it's more about in in business now nowadays. Though you you make a long term relationship with all of your customers. This uh, is true. Yeah, because then you over um, you overextend people's wallets by releasing well, it yeah, depends, like it, the, like the Madden series. Yeah, exactly. it depends yeah. what what business. Depends on what business, but most businesses now I've noticed, especially in gaming, especially with Blizzard. More so with Blizzard. Blizzard I think I don't think else. this is a thing that you see in gaming. I think it's a thing you see with Blizzard because you know. Madden, Call of Duty, there's a new one every year, mm -hmm. and it sells a bajillion copies. Okay. Right, but I, the reason why it sells so much is because it does so well with people. Yeah, but it, the game is marginally different, like, between... Yeah, like, I get true. the sports one because you want to have the newest stats. Right. Yeah, so that one, I don't fault that series right, as that much. Right, one, that one's got to... What pisses me off about those games is how much they change the controls. Seems like every year you have to relearn the controls because like yeah. they yeah. add something or change something. That shit pisses me off. Yeah, mm -hmm. but but I Call yeah, it really don't... doesn't need to be no, every exactly. Year. Right. Just right. instead of releasing a new game, release a pack of maps. You know. Yeah. Like a new game. Game. exactly. Oh, give, give it some. Uh, what are these? Uh, defibrillator. Yeah. Defibrillators. Yeah. Give it the defibrillators with a, no, a map pack. Don't you know? Make me spend sixty dollars on a freaking new game. Yeah. That's the exact same thing. My only mm -hmm. issue right now with Diablo three is that I'm not going to be able to play it. 
Oh! Oh, and, oh I don't have a PC! I know. I'm well, so upset. Sucker. And, <laughs> unless they do decide to release it on console, which I yeah, doubt. I really well, I really they said they wanted to. They said they wanted to. And they did. Would, it be, would it be their first console game? Uh, no, StarCraft. Yeah, on StarCraft 64. Oh, yeah. Did not know that. Yeah. yeah. Did not know that. It was and all right. Diablo oh, you're right. Was on PlayStation. You're right. right. Yeah. You're right. Okay. Diablo, the first very time, limited console release. The first, first time I ever played Diablo was on the PlayStation. My friend had it at his place. And then and then I looked it up on the internet. I was like, there's a PC version? Fuck, I'm getting the PC version. Right. Of course. Yeah, so, and of it was course, a billion times better. It was a yeah. billion, infinity I mean, billion. But the thing is, I think this time, for this type of game, with others uh, in the similar genre like Torchlight, mm -hmm. really show that you can have this game not on the PC. Yeah. Right. And like, it'll be good. They yeah. wanted to do it, but they haven't said anything about yeah, they, they like, said that a like, controller be nice. would be right. cool. They said it works great with the controller. So you know <clears throat> that they've internally tested mm. a controller, at least to the PC. I've noticed a lot of games that aren't first-person or RTS games on PC, released on PC, like on Steam, for example, uh, Meat Boy, or uh, actually, shoot. With controllers in mind. Exactly, with controllers in mind. Yeah. Shank. Which Shank. is an awesome game. Shank was really good. I yeah, but they're first. like, this is you. You get a controller. <laughs> you're not. Yeah. Gonna, you know what I mean? Like, well, yeah. That's that's because that, well, that's Microsoft's goal is write it uh, one place and eighty percent of the code is right usable on Xbox and on Windows. My my big thing with Diablo though is I started to get carpal tunnel. Right. Now. Yeah. Get a good mouse. Uh, and a good mouse. It didn't work. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. Uh, no. So I would actually, if, if if it isn't first person shooter, I would actually just prefer the. Controller. At if, this point. Uh, if Diablo comes out and it has uh, gamepad support, I'm using the controller. Same here. Mm. Yeah. Oh, old school, I guess. I, I don't want to fucking. Yeah. Touch if, it, if it's first person shooter and you give me mouse and keyboard first, I will take that. But if it's anything else at this point, I just like the controller. I'd rather play Pac Man on mouse and keyboard than. Actually, that's not true. Arcade for life, actually. No. Yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I just. Anything PC, I don't want to play. Well, I take that back. RTS, I have to have mouse and keyboard too. Yeah. I can't, I can't deal with that. That is terrible. Yeah, that is no terrible. way. I tried Did to play, Halo, play Halo Wars. Oh, it was oh, awful. Dude, oh, I just I can't finish it. I, couldn't I finished finish it. it. I couldn't finish it. Way too short. Didn't like the freaking controls. Spare me. Although, I couldn't finish it. like, I didn't play it, but I've heard from a lot of people, and you said, yeah. As far as RTS on a console, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> the controls were far away better than any other uh, RTS on console. Yeah. For a controller, it did What other well. RTS games are on console are there? Uh, there was Command, Starcraft, and Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer was on console? Yeah. Yeah. That sounds terrible. They all, they all were. Yeah. <sighs> Dude, okay. why yeah. did they, they probably sold like three copies? But that's why they like... I had both. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I wanted to try it. It's like, I want to run my PC on my N64. Yeah. 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 They, that's why at Hill Wars, they dumbed it down a little bit. They made things like really simple. Things didn't happen quite as fast paced so that you could have this the uh, slowness of right. using the controller yeah. and the inaccuracy of it. Right. But uh, they spend a lot of work, or it's not a good RTS because RTS is all about, okay. Yeah, uh, muscle memory and, you know, yeah, and just dragging and high action per minute. The and, fact that you have to like select the whole group and like tell them where to go and like Micromanage like crazy. Exactly, yeah. yeah. I'm still not very good at it. I, I do like uh, <laughs> five actions a minute, five or six. That's really slow. That's pretty slow. Yeah. Yeah. Because you still have to like. Maybe maybe more. That's terrible. I don't it know. would have to be way more. Maybe more. I just I'm just not the one you're, that does like three hundred a minute. You're, that's insane. I, that, that's not me either. And I'm no, a, I'm not a pro RTS I, player. I, I think I'm, now that like, I think I'm about terrible it, at RTS. I'm okay at it. I, at now best. I think about it, I guess maybe around ten ish. That's still really slow. That, it, but that it would have to be better. like in the fifties. Think so? Yeah. If you really sat down and like counted how much times you're yeah maybe I don't know I'm sure it'd be a lot higher I think you're really underestimating I might be it, it, well, the last time I played an RTS I didn't even play StarCraft two I watched someone play StarCraft two yeah. really uh, I didn't last... finish StarCraft two I actually got bored of the campaign the campaign is amazing you need I, to go I back watched and all it. the videos it is so good I watched all the videos and read all the story yeah but I just got bored with the campaign and the thing is I had no interest in uh, like multiplayer. Uh, I didn't guess. have an interest in alt alt multiplayer either because I know how badly I'll get owned. Yeah. And I'll just like be the first to fess up. I'm like, I don't want to go online because I don't want to get fucking destroyed. That's <laughs> yeah. not fun to me. 
and I don't want no, to learn. Not. You know, if I, I'm, I'm gonna not, be, I know me, I'm not gonna learn it. Exactly. <laughs> no, you play anything enough, you'll learn it. But Oops. hours upon hours upon hours upon hours that you have to put in just to be like decent. Yeah. And See? just like instead of getting owned in a minute, to get owned in like twenty. Yeah, my, just, but you're still getting owned. You my know, roommates yeah. at the time, I'd see them going, like, right. t hitting a bunch of things, and like I can't even like remember what the hockey is for a uh, uh, little right. uh, SVU. Little but you grab that guy. kid and put him on street fighter and fucking get fucked. The That's right, yeah. You know what I mean? Like we all have our niches, and I'm sure when they're looking at us playing like street fighter, they're like, "What? Yeah. <laughs> like what is happening? Look at their fingers. Yeah. Like, no, what are they doing?" I, I saw this one guy one time when he was playing the first StarCraft. He was sitting there with his mouse's keyboard, and he was just going like this. Like his face wasn't even, he wasn't blinking. He was like, staring uh, at the screen. He's got no time. He was staring at the screen and seriously, his fingers, all 10 of his fingers were like this because he had buttons on the yeah, mouse too. Yeah. So it was just. He's got no time for facial expressions. That'll That's take the, valuable uh, yeah. exactly. brain sight. He was exactly. just clicking and I think they timed him at like 100. Was Korean? No, he was, Jap <laughs> he was Japanese. Same thing. Same thing. But he was, he was <laughs> doing, so uh, he was doing like 190 actions a minute. Damn. That was just ridiculous. Just like. That is pretty hardcore. Not even blinking. Like that's what freaked me out is that the, the guy wasn't fucking blinking. <laughs> well, from one ridiculous story to another. Yeah. Uh, and we actually touched the bases about Street Fighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There has been a huge, huge scandal uh, breaking out in the fighting game community, the FGC, if you will, what we call it in the uh, in the scene. Um, Capcom apparently put all 12 of the new DLC characters on the disc before launch. Yeah. Now, nobody would have known this unless the game is in such high demand that hackers uh, got the game before it was launched, mm -hmm. hacked it so that they could play it before everybody else, which is kind and of they fucked just up. saw the files. Exactly. Saw the files on the disc and said, hey, what is this? You yeah. know, because there's like, if you go and look at it, there's several folders with like, you know, the sound clips for each character in the, each folder, and there's 53 of them or whatever, and there's only supposed to be 48 or whatever right. characters in the game. And they're like, what is this? They went into the files. What the hell, Capcom? You put all the characters in the game, and now you want to charge you for them well, later? Well, to be fair, some of those uh, additional 12 are not complete. Supposedly. Now, here's here's... What my problem with that is, they're not complete, meaning they're going to change frame data on the characters now because they've been seen and tampered. So now to punish the people that did what they did and have been playing those characters and learning the characters before anyone else, they're going to change the statistics and the frame data to make them different so that they have no advantage when they right. actually do get released. That to me, that as far as as damage control makes complete sense. Absolutely, but the fact of the matter is, they're still ripping us off. Okay, the problem with me and and this practice is that you're you're basically charging me instead of sixty dollars, a hundred dollars for the game, because realistically speaking, if you want to play this game competitively and seriously, you have to get all the characters to learn how to play against them and maybe even play them, depending on whether or not they're good or bad in this game, right? right. So, okay, I paid $60 for the game at launch. Um, I could, you know, wait a couple months, get it used for less, whatever. But a competitive, serious player like myself is going to spend $60 for the game, and as time comes and, you know, DLC comes, I'll pick that up too. Uh, I, I personally am not the type of person to, like, buy, like, costume packs and all this, you know, like, right. keep, you know, like, uh, theme packs and all that shit. Keep that to the fucking kids that just want to, like, say they have all the DLC or whatever. Right, right. I'm going to get meat and potatoes, characters, stages, right. even stages is kind of like a gray area, uh, but... I always get the stages when I can, though. Yeah, they're okay. Uh, they're, you know, it's maps on FPS games, I understand that. Yeah. But, you're putting all the content on a disc, you know, I, I, I don't know if, A, it's because... Uh, Sony or Microsoft charges per meg that each DLC costs. I mean, like, okay, uh, a 32 uh, kilobit file DLC is $5 or, uh, you know, $10 to, to sell to a person or whatever, you know, whatever they charge the manufacturer. Uh, and like a 15 gigabyte download is now like $200 or something, you know what I mean? I don't know if it's because of that and they wanted to like just have like the 
the, the yes or no DLC. You know, you download a small file from uh, either PSN or, or Xbox Live, giving you the permission to release this character onto your game so you can play him. So again, we don't know if it's they put them on the disc to like take that the punch, the bite out of having to pay Xbox. I'm sorry, uh, Microsoft or Sony more money for having to download more bandwidth. You know what I'm getting at? Mm -hmm. And okay, well, if that's the case, put it on the disc, and then we'll ha you know we'll roll in the updates, we'll roll in the on-off switch basically for these characters, and everybody's happy, right? I don't know if that's what it was. I don't know if they just want to be fucking greedy and charge us out the ass for well, all the characters later. Here's two other. But what's wrong with the picture? You here, know what I mean? Here's two other reasons why those things might be there that I don't really hear get mentioned. One is when they were submitted the code to, for Goldmaster for printing mm -hmm. onto uh, all the discs. Mm -hmm. okay. They were, of course, developing all the DLC characters in the same library right. as whatever. So when they just submitted the file, they submitted oops. the entire project. You think, you think it was an oops? So it could have been that. And, of course, you wouldn't want to admit that as a company because, like, right. I fucked up. Right. Okay. That makes you look dumb. But that could be one thing is you wouldn't build them in a separate directory. That could, and that's actually a very good guess as to what happened, but that's not what happened. Because uh, Street Fighter 4, vanilla Street Fighter 4, had uh, DJ and, um, oh, what's the Mexican dude? T-Hawk. T-Hawk and DJ were both on the vanilla disc. Right. They didn't release them until Super Street Fighter 4 came out, but... People were speculating that they might, and this is this information has only been out since this scandal broke out. They basically the hackers just went and took the entire Capcom library for this current generation and tore the discs apart, and they found that Vanilla Street Fighter Four had DJ and T Hawk in them. Uh, the um, Marvel vs. Capcom Three, not Ultimate, Vanilla Marvel vs. Capcom Three had Shuma Gorath and Jill on the disc, which were DLCs characters that you could download DLC and get the characters. And I found it strange when I bought the DLC for the characters. I said, how the hell is all this da data data on 32KB files that I'm downloading from Microsoft? Yeah. What the hell's wrong with this? Yeah. I, I figured maybe you're downloading like a shortcut to get the da data from Capcom directly, but no, that wasn't the case. The no, case was, just it was on the disc. Yeah. You're downloading oh, a file that is an on-off switch to give you the character. So, yes, it, if, if, if we didn't know that they had done this before, that would be a perfectly reasonable explanation of what happened, but it's not what happened. They the put, other they put thing, it there to fuck us over. The other thing is that uh, not everyone who's buying uh, these games is looking to do it professionally or even semi-professionally a lot of them are kids or whatever sure looking and they want to go the, online, the casual gamer the casual right. gamer they want to go online and just have fun and in a lot of cases when dlc characters come out uh before if you didn't get the dlc let's say you could only afford the game but you can't afford to get the dlc for whatever reason you just can't play online because another guy wants to use a dlc right. character yeah you're fucked but if your game has the shit on the disc Though you don't have that character because you can afford it, you still can play. You didn't lose a gaming experience later in life of the game. Right. Just because you are of a different economic status, it doesn't yeah. penalize you. But you don't have access to the characters until they're... Actually, we don't know yet. But if, if the date that they're released comes, I don't know that they'll just pop up on your game because, you know, they're released now. Like, I still think you no, have they, to, like... They won't... You won't pop. They won't pop up as you can play them, but you or can play, play against, against them. them. A, that's what I'm saying. I don't know that that's accurate because it hasn't happened yet. It hasn't happened. I think that that's what's going to happen. I think they. I would hope so. I think they did it specifically to avoid a uh, a super version iteration. Of the game. Yeah. Right. Just so they're going to do it. They they probably will. End they're going to do it. I guarantee. But you they can do it. hold it off for a a, a lot longer if they make sure that they just have all the necessary stuff on the disc, and then if you can't afford it, you can still play online. The game is still fully usable. It's not, oh, now I've waited so long, half my game is worthless. 
but I'm not right. willing to pay to turn Or you could buy a Vita and spend twenty dollars less instead of sixty, it's forty, yeah, and get all the characters. A, for then free. you're using a fucking Vita. And, yeah, exactly. You're, <laughs> you're you're a chode. Yeah. But still, Vita gets it for free and it's twenty dollars less. What the fuck? I get that the Vita's not selling well. I get that. Yeah, but give them a penalize me time. for it? Come on. Like I, you know, I'm the hardcore gamer that plays your games religiously and is gonna download all the DLC and buy the, every iteration that comes out. Yeah. That fucking sucks to be me right now. What, is he, what I think they should do is. Um, they should have just released all the characters that way, and then had actual DLC later. That way, and that's how it should have been. That that way, everybody gets to play with what was it, forty eight characters? It's uh, forty eight, I believe. Forty eight. This up, so I. Forty eight characters. Everyone's playing with forty eight characters. You know how long it's going to take everybody to go through 48 exactly, characters. Exactly. Exactly. Then later, you could release DLC, and if they didn't want it that way, um, they should even if it was. I know you said if it was a mistake, it's a mistake, but since you know, in the past they've shown that it hasn't been a mistake. Just when they submitted it, they should have said, hey, pull these out, put that in, and then we'll work on a DLC and time release them, you know, that way. I think they should have done it that way because either way, like, people are going to pay money for it. But why not right. do it without pissing anyone off? Well, like, just spend the extra week for me, doing it, you know? I, I, is, I would much rather The thing is, that. for me, they promised... From the very beginning, only this certain set of characters. Right. And they delivered to me that set of characters. Right. I got excited off that set of characters. I knew there was going to be more. Mm. And as a fighting game, if having those extra DLC characters on the disc allows me to keep the life of the game without purchasing DLC uh, going, <clears throat> I'm... I'm much happier than later I me mean, not buying the DLC and being fucked. Well, but I, you're still However, upset. I am upset over this practice in other things like uh, the Mass Effect Day 1 DLC, where the DLC was on the disc right. as well. That's to me, that's a different type of game. Okay, this one, this one doesn't break my experience. But what's the DLC? The DLC in Mass Effect is like a major character and plot point. Okay. And, so uh, you're literally altering how you play the game and what you what experience you have yeah. by having or not having this DLC. Yeah, it's day one DLC, and it's on the disc. See, that to me is much more offensive. Okay, because it's the same thing to me. To me, it's it's well, you're, yeah, you're slapping I'm, me in the face. I'm kind of with Jose. I mean, if it's there, just give it to me. I think. Exactly. I mean, I get. That. I paid sixty dollars for everything on this disc. Right. Give it to me. I get that, but at the same if time, if it's post production, I understand. Whatever. I'm paying you money for me to have a better experience and you know, bettering the life of my game. Right. Well, with, with I'm also with you though because of what you said about the uh, you know experience online and when the DLC does come out. But at the same time. It should it should be a little bit different. I mean, if they're gonna do it that way, um, charge the money for it, and you have it. Charge less for the DLC, but you have this wide range, wide wide uh, range of characters. But not just put broken ones on there. Put all the characters you plan on to release, and then time release those, and only charge like, you know, a very minimal amount to unlock them. So that way you've paid them, and if you still you pay for the game, and if you still want to play online without a broken experience. They're there, but in order to get them, you could unlock them. You know what I mean? Well, that's what they, well, they did that doing. for Street Fighter. No, 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 because they they released broken and... ones as well, and they're gonna release more characters. Am I right or wrong? I don't know if they're gonna. Okay, I mean, twelve uh, is pretty hefty DLC. Right, but if I mean, we're saying, so. Oh, by the way, it was four. forty-four characters okay. uh, on the roster. If you just Throw your if you don't have online, you just toss the day, disc in on right. day one. Forty four characters, twelve to be released. So it brings us to a total of uh, fifty six. six. Uh, however, uh, Sony will have fifty five, and oh wait no, Sony get Xbox gets fifty five. Sony gets fifty six. Who's their extra character? Uh, Cole from. Um, That's right. That, was, that makes sense. Uh, Cole from. Damn it. Um, the fucking lightning guy. Yeah, I know. Right. I can't remember the game now. Whatever. Cole. But I'm just saying, if if they were gonna do that too, make it known that that they were gonna do that. Not yeah. just say this is this, and then oh, right. you found something that you weren't supposed to. Um, make it known. Be like, there is unlockable content that's gonna be time release. Right. 
you know. They did that for Street Fighter 4 in the arcades. Mm -hmm. uh, when Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition came out to the arcades, uh, they had Evil Ryu and Oni on time release. But same thing, hackers found out, and then next thing you know, people in Japan are playing Oni and Evil Ryu before anyone even knew. Nobody had mentioned that there's going to be these characters, and you know they got to play them way before anybody else did and ruined the experience for everybody. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it, it's it's to me it's pretty it's, offensive. It's a slap in the face. Well, like I said, if it if like on the box it says what was it fifty six characters? Uh, it says forty four. No, no, no. But total characters that are going to be released. Forty four. They didn't say that. Like no, if no, you look with, at the with, box with, with the expansion with the DLC. Oh, fifty six. Okay, yeah. so if you looked at the box and it says uh, like up to fifty six uh, characters playable. Right. But it doesn't. It's but like it doesn't say no, 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 but I'm, but I'm saying... You're saying they, hypothetically. Hypothetically. Okay. If they put that on there, uh -huh. and you going and knowing, oh, I'm starting with this, but they're going to release this many more. Right. Even if, even if it's on the disc, and it's and you have to, you know, time release, it, it made me feel a lot better. But the thing is, we did know, when the game came out, we knew there was going to be 12 new characters. We did. They, 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 they did mention... 44, and we're going to have these 12 DLC characters, which are going to start... They didn't mention exclusive. all of them, but they did say there's going to be more. Yeah, okay. and that there's going to be more... And that they're, they're, gonna be exclusive, they're going to start exclusively yeah. on Vita, but then come to the rest. Right. I'm just, we knew that from I'm, the very beginning. What I'm, but what I'm saying is that charge less for the DLC, since you charged me $60 to buy this game new. Yeah. Since they're going to be unlocked, and none of them better be broken, because if there is... <laughs> well, the thing is, as for the, uh, the buying them cheaper... They're probably going to do what everyone else is doing, which is they're going to say, Charge here's a season pass. For the first. They're going to say, no, they're going to say, here's a season pass that gets you all the DLC uh, that we have planned out for a way discounted price. Mortal Kombat did that. Uh, oh, they did? Gears, Gears that. did that. You could buy a season pass and all the planned DLC that they had announced up to that point, you just got it. And it was way cheaper than buying them individually. This is what Capcom has done in the past. And I know this firsthand. Uh, Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 4 came out. That was a disc-only release. So okay. you could... Well, actually, you could download uh, the DLC version and just have that on your, on your game, actually, without having to buy the disc, which right. is cool. But you don't get the disc. Uh, and then Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition came out. That was also a disc slash DLC. You could download it or purchase the actual game. You couldn't like pay for the characters or pay for the stages. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 came, comes out and then they release Shumagorath and Jill. Now these, instead of releasing uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Plus, it was just the DLC and you couldn't buy both of them in one pack. You had to download them both individually. I think they were $5 a pop, so you're talking $10 for the both of them. Right. And again, you couldn't download them both. And then they released Ultimate Mar Marvel vs. Capcom 3 with a whole new roster. They drastically changed the game. That's acceptable to me. I'll buy another iteration of the game a year later. That's fine. But they have done it where... Uh, oh, and also costume packs for Super Street Fighter 4 and regular Street Fighter 4. They released costume packs in the Shoto pack or the Boss pack, and you get like four or five of them, and not like eight to ten months after they're released, they'll, they'll save you all of them in a bundle. But you couldn't just pay for all of them all at once. You had to like, if you wanted all of them, you had to spend five dollars a pop on like 20 packs. Or wait like ten months after they're all played out and nobody wants them anymore, and then pay twenty dollars for all of them. So I instead of paying twenty dollars, if you want them all now, you have to pay out the ass for yeah. them. You I know think what they'll mean? probably go to the season pass Kind of thing, the deal is, where you download one and you get all of them? Yeah, because that's what I did with Mortal Kombat, because there was like four DLC characters, yeah. five bucks a pop, mm -hmm. season pass was $15. Right. So, so I essentially got a character for free. Right, yeah. Okay, and I got all the DLC, and I was happy. Instead of doing the season pass, why won't, why won't they just make each character cheaper because they come $5 out? is the limit. It is it? Free. Yeah. I didn't know that. Really, I didn't know that either. It, it has to be $5 at the end. Yeah, well, notice, well, the, notice on, the point though. prices are uh, uh, smallest point price, I think, is 400 from the point No, price. not necessarily, because, no, again, for 200. the costume packs for Co Street costumes Fighter... Costumes different, but for, like, a certain amount of content, for, like, game play content, it's five. I don't know. Like, I've not well, seen... Then, they're I don't just know playable that these. Well, then, not, I don't know that it's true, scans. but I, don't, I also don't know if it's well, not Well, then just true, release so. them in packs. That's what they're going to do. 
Well, that's what I'm saying. With the season, right. that's what the season pass is. Was well, that what it's called? It's just season pass, it's, and then you release it's, it. It's in called like a season three, pass. Three pay, packs each, or something like that. Well, the season pass is it's a promise that you'll pay this much money up front before even before the DLC comes out, but you're guaranteed, no matter what the cost of the DLC eventually is, you get it no matter what. So, like with Mortal Kombat, okay, we knew four characters were going to come out, okay, and they were roughly going to be five dollars a piece. But they said. Here's this early investment of 15 bucks, and you'll get it all, those four characters, regardless of what we price them at later. So if they price mm -hmm. them at 20 bucks a piece, it doesn't matter. You already paid your money up front, and you've got, and you've got the I game. don't think Capcom will do that. I think because, again, the game is a tag type of game, and the teams on um, Street Fighter X Tekken are in pairs. So I think they're going to sell you, like, for example, Balrog and Vega, since there were bosses in Street Fighter 2. They're paired together, and like if you have them both on your team and you play the arcade version, you get special cutscenes. So I think they're gonna pair like for example Pac-Man and Mega Man on the same team because they're the flagship characters of each each uh, company, mm -hmm. and obviously they don't have anything to do with each other. But they're gonna be like buy Pac-Man and Mega Man in one pack, probably ten dollars, maybe five. I doubt it'll be five. I think I really think they're gonna. They'll give us the stiff. Ten. If they do exactly. two characters, it'll be ten. Exactly, and See, um, I think that's too expensive. It, it is. I, I, it is too expensive. I'd that's my at, point. I look at it and go, no. That's my point. Like I've done that before. Castle Crashers, I've done that in. Oh, they had DLC like oh, that. Oh yeah, and I looked at it and like, no, that's too much. Well, I don't buy a lot of DLC. I will the have to because I want to go to a right, fucking yeah. tournament in your case, and compete. It's I have to pay that money. I have to. But but for the people, what I'm saying is like, but that goes back to my other point. For yes, casual people, gamers, they're going to say, this fuck is, it. Yeah. This is wonderful. Or they're going to wait for some 10 guy. months, spend $20 for all of them and play them then. Because if they yeah. go online and they're unlucky and they play against someone like you and you have all the DLC, they're not like, oh, I can't play. They'll be able to play. You'll you'll fuck them right. over. Okay? That's why I said I was on. I was with you. What but. I think in the long run, what they should do is they should make it known from now on, be, because everything's changing, that we're gonna have a lot of unlockable things on discs from here on out. The thing is, I just I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a normal that. practice. I just now. assume that, and the thing is, it's not something that only Capcom does. I just assume there's DLC on this disc because if they announce it before the game's released. They're working on it already. Right, yeah, right. But I think, right, they, I, think right. I think they should be like, like I said, they said, put it on the box. We're gonna have up to this many characters as of now since you have this box. But right now you only have forty four. You know, right. and I don't just think let it you know. To, I don't think it necessarily needs to be on the box, but maybe they can do like what Gears Three did, mm -hmm. which is in the campaign there was a section that just said coming soon. See that, but that, you had that no idea what that was for. But you knew whatever it is. It's probably going to be DLC later on. Right. That's what like it you, you automatically assume that it's mm. DLC. Yeah. I mean, it, they're not going to come into your house and give you a new disc. Right. <laughs> Here, I'm going to put this in for you. Right. Yeah. Um, I don't. I think they should just. What I said, they should make everybody more aware of what's going on and how they're changing things. Well, I think that's just the way the industry's changing nowadays. Is, uh, you know, and, the, the DLC for, on and, disc. It's and, pretty and, shitty, but that's probably how the industry's going. Right. But but. Like I said, also too, since you already did pay for the disc, they should make it cheaper. Yeah, and they should put two or three characters in a pack and charge like five bucks. Oh, also because the, you already paid for the core game. All you're you're not even like adding like a real patch. You're adding like an on off switch. Yeah, yeah. You're going. Uh, I think the there. other. Right. Yeah, I think the other reason, and they would could pretty successfully make this case, is a lot of people. Yes, Xbox Live only works on broadband. Mm -hmm. Right, but. Broadband has a wide berth from one megabit to yeah, exactly. 35. Why, and, yeah, broadband isn't that broad, yeah. really. I mean, it's... Uh, so, in that case, is it easier to just put it on the disc and for the people who uh, have shitty, shitty internet connections? Right. Download yeah. in the KB rather than in the MB. Right. Or which, which makes, even. Or, yeah. yeah. Which makes, like, like I said, which makes sense. That, but like I said, um, you know, just, just make it cheaper. You know, it's already on the disc. You paid for the core. You know, pay. I don't. I mean, we've paid I'm for. All we, for I'm all for DLC for, getting cheaper, like regardless. Right, even yeah. if they, even if they did it where it was strictly we, downloadable, nothing was on the disc. I would still be down for it we, because I hate buying DLC. Yeah, yeah. we've all put, paid for keys and shit before, and, yeah. and it's bullshit. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like games like this, because of the broadband issue and everything else. I think they should make it cheaper. That way, you know, you paid for the core game. They're still getting some money out of it too. 
I'm, yeah. I'm all for supporting the right. The, exactly. The the, it's just you know. I think we're beating a dead horse. Yeah. Actually, five dollars. Five dollars for one character is just bullshit. The, the other problem with uh, Capcom and Street Fighter X Tekken is not only the DLC issue. Uh, the PlayStation version, uh, you could play. You and me sitting in my house could play online on the PS3 against somebody else online. Yeah. Um, you could be the 360. You can't do that, yeah. and supposedly the reason you can't is because the architecture of the Xbox Live IDs is different than the architecture for the PSN IDs. Uh, I don't know anything about that stuff. Yeah, as far as technically, that. I have no idea if this is true or not, but I know that it's not because Mortal Kombat, as you'll see in the videos if you go and watch the two videos that we're going to link, um, Mortal Kombat gives you the ability to do just that. Yeah. He and I can go play online against a random person Halo. online. Halo yeah. does it too. Yeah, you can have exactly. a guest log in with you and go online. Yeah. Exactly. I've done it. And they and, and Capcom put in the manual for the 360 that you can do this, but you can't. So again, they're give they're they promising don't to patch it. They're not gonna yeah. patch it. They've already said they're not gonna patch yeah. it. And they they have issued an apology, a public like news release apology for the error for the 360 mistake, whatever, that you can't tag uh, or you know play co-op or whatever, um, and they don't intend to patch it, but they never mentioned anything about the DLC. They just like, they're right. just ignoring it. They're they just, ignored you it know, completely. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's, I just wanted to throw in real quick, uh, when I had a Wii and I got Metal Slug, it said good game. up to four players. Uh -huh. Bullshit. Bullshit. It was really? I bought the game because on the box it said really? up to four players. I got so excited, got home, it was a two player game. Oh that well it is an arcade. But you were thinking, oh well if it says it's so okay. exactly it says, on the box. On the box it says four players. Wow. And they had four characters. Yeah, and No, it, I know, they've always had four <laughs> characters. No, even on the even fun. on the screenshot on the back of the box, you saw four characters jumping yeah. through the game and you're like, this is What? Yeah, no joke. There's a screenshot of four characters playing on the same yeah. screen. So unless yeah. there's something where we're just retarded. Yeah, but we, yeah, and I'm gonna go. Out. I'm a, somebody Google this. Yeah, and we couldn't figure it out unless we were retarded. We couldn't figure it out for a year. Uh, Maybe was even two like online. I hope you guys no, are just like, retarded. Online. I would be I really, so happy if you guys are just retarded. It's <laughs> it really like it awesome. bugs the hell out. I'd say because you think. You know, we have four controllers synced up, and you think, oh, I'll just press start. Right, yeah. And then when it's like not every that, other game in the history of games. Yeah, and then when it's not that, you go, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And you just start looking through menus, and you don't see, like, number of player option or whatever, and you just wow. go, I don't understand. That's, and it that's had, like, funny. a bunch of different versions of Metal Slug. I'm a huge Slug, SNK right? fan. Yeah. And actually. we went through, like, <clears throat> all the versions of Metal Slug that were on the disc. <clears throat> And we thought, okay, maybe it's like the later versions yeah. of Metal mm -hmm. Slug that have it, not the early ones. That makes sense. Right. But no. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, see, number of players one to four. It even oh, says I it think right you here. guys are just retarded. But we're going to figure I it out. I deeply, deeply hope you guys are just retarded and can't figure out how to put four players on one game. No, we maybe. tried a lot. We sat there, <laughs> literally, every time I turned it on, we're like, let's try again. How to play three players in Metal Slug? Well, that's not four. Uh, I don't know. The the whole Tekken thing really just fucking put a nasty taste in my mouth. So, yeah, I, I'm pretty upset because I'm a serious gamer, and uh, it you know it pisses me off. The other thing, it, uh, and we'll we'll end it at this. Tournament organizers have to buy the game. For example, the biggest uh, in the in the U.S. Uh, tournament is Evo. Uh, that's uh, Evolution. Um, they have to buy something like. Dude, like 90 versions of the game, or 90 copies of the game to have stations throughout the weekend for everybody to play on. They gotta buy all the DLC. They have to buy all the DLC, dude. Do you know how much money that's gonna cost them? Shit. Ridiculous money. amount. And, you know, although you would think that if, once they reach a certain level, they could have some deal with Capcom. They don't. They don't. You'd think so, but they don't. Okay. Like other it sucks. They have to pay for it just like you and like, me. Like, reviewers get a license. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, they'll get one. I'm sure Capcom will give them 10, but not... They're not going to, you know, they still, they they don't care. They they expect the tournament organizers to pay out the ass, too, just like everybody else. You'd think they'd get a discount, but they don't. So Just want to throw in real quick. Oh. Um, where is it? Four years ago, damn. Yeah. Uh, the Xbox, the U.S. box mentioned four-player support. It was actually a printing error. 
Damn. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad you two aren't retarded. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, what, what's what's uh, Game, GameStop's uh, excuse for still saying one to Wait, four? Wait, but then that yeah. doesn't explain the screenshot of them, all four of them playing on the well, stage. Well, they, they, they might have just bell. pulled the screenshot oh. from like the arcade. They're just like, we'll just put it here. Right. Well, the arcade never had four players. It might have been an internal well, build, and they just had a yeah, screenshot of it when they were doing wow. something like this will happen. That's pretty that shady. Game. That's pretty shady. Yeah. All right. So moving on. Yes. Moving on to something. Uh, I think less uh, less crazy overall, but no, still crazy. <clears throat> still pretty crazy. Still huh? crazy if you're if you're if you're in the know. I just I go on and then I'll say it. Okay. Because I, I have very little say on it because my streak's poor. Okay. So go. Uh, <laughs> Kevin Rose, founder of Dig, mm -hmm. Revision Three, Pounce, and a couple other things. Like. Uh, and his latest one, Milk, which whose only app was Oink. Uh, Loved Oink. Oink was an amazing it app. Was. Yeah. It was. Yeah, I used it all the time. It. I was so disappointed <laughs> when it shut down. Uh, but they have closed the doors on Oink and uh, Milk because Kevin Rose and three others from Milk are going to Google. They've been uh, acquired, or Accu hired. Okay. Accu hired? Accu yeah, that's the, that's the cool. term. It's, a, yeah, it's acquired, <laughs> they were acquired by just being hired out of their company. Right. Because right. the, the company wasn't bought, just the people were. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. Uh, and I think that's great. Like, I'm excited because Google's not had good luck with trying to move to social. They started with Buzz. Google Plus is a fucking horrible mistake. Okay. And An abortion. And I've been insanely critical of Google Plus. Like, I've never used it. Neither has ninety percent of the world. I, I yeah. have an account. I don't touch it. Like I, I don't. I didn't even create an account because I know that. I yeah. did it. I there's, did. It there's just, somebody's mom and like a llama on Google Plus, <laughs> and that's it. I did yeah. it just in case it did take off. Yeah. And I, when I when I first came out, I got invited. I think you or Ryan sent me an, an invite. Yeah, but. it was Ryan. Ryan, because Ryan he closed his uh his Facebook, Facebook and completely. Just yeah. Google Plus. He's just Google Plus. Should see how thick the glasses he wears now. The frames. <laughs> <laughs> like I have. It's all frames and like just a sliver exactly. of glass. Exactly. Like a cigarette this much smoke everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's awesome. You guys don't even know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, uh, like I use Google Plus every now and then. I'll go yeah, in and check funny. things out. I'm much more active on uh, Facebook and even more so on Twitter. Twitter's like my place. Mine's Facebook, Twitter, and then. I never touch Google Plus with Facebook. Internet. Mine's Facebook and then social interactions with people in real life. I well, yes, <laughs> well, obviously. Then that one's on top. Because, yeah, okay. You know, I work in retail now, so I do, you that, have to. I yeah. have to. I do that all the yeah. time. Yeah, I'm not. I'm talking about just online interaction. I'm yes. really only on Facebook. I do have a Twitter, but I can seldom use it. Yeah, I'm the same. Yeah, I, I use Twitter like crazy all the time. Um. um my only thing is, like you said, they're going to Google. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be working on a lot of the. They're going to be working. I, I, it's presumed that they're going to work on Google Plus. Right. A lot. And but if then that's if that's true, I won't believe, I won't believe it till I see it on um, on the improvements. Everyone's getting excited about oh they're going to make so many improvements. I'll wait and see. I'm not getting excited till something I'm, happens. I'm getting excited now because Kevin Rose knows social. He knows how to build a social network. I mean, dig was one of the top 10 sites on the internet for the longest time. He designed uh, one of the first versions of Dig. Mm. And Dig used to be like attractive, now it's kind of shitty. Yeah, it is. Okay, it now is. it looks like crap, because all the product yeah, people use, are gone. We use Dig like crazy. I mean, we still kind of use Dig. I use Dig quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's ugly though. It's, yeah. we, I know a lot of people moved to Reddit, and at first I had no idea why, but then it made sense for Chen. Just yeah, Reddit is 4chan. Reddit is 4chan. Reddit isn't Dig. I still have never been to Reddit. Dig and is... I refuse to go there. Yeah. You, you've been I refuse right? to go there. Remember, I've been to 4chan, but I refuse how, to go to 4chan too. Remember how it was funny? It used to be, right. and That's, then it just turned into cancer. And right, like, nobody right. Fucking well, all, all the old 4chan, 4chaners. I doubt it. I really doubt that all the old 4chaners... I think that all the old 4chaners, like myself, don't go to 4chan or Reddit anymore. Because I don't know. It's, like, it's all just cancer now. They, they moved... To a lot of you can find some fun, you can find some fun stuff on Reddit. Um, it's not nearly as hilarious. But yeah, I would not go to Reddit for the longest time because I was same with me. I so would. much into Dig. I was like, fuck Reddit. They fucking <clears throat> stole the idea. They made none of the improvements. Fuck them. 
It still looks ugly to me. It's ugly as shit. Reddit? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I, I have nothing to compare it to. Again, I've never been there. It's well, like, I'll just show it to you real quick. Yeah. Just so you can see it. It, it It's ugly as sin, but it's... Well, uh, 4chan's ugly as sin, too. No, this actually is worse than 4chan. 4chan has... What a, is the appeal? has a structure. The appeal was that it wasn't dead. There it is. I don't want to ever see that ever again. <laughs> I've already, that's too much. Yeah, I've already no, seen too no, much. It's, it's fucking gross. Yeah. But, no. you know, it's... If you want to waste time, it's a great waste of time. Like, I don't actually personally use Pinterest, I but my wife either. does, and to me that looks more appealing than that. Pinterest? Have you seen Pinterest? Yeah. I mean, it's... It's a I, social network for women. Exactly, it really is. <laughs> I, I didn't really want really to be is. the one to say it, but that's exactly no, that, what that's it what is. No, that's what it is, and, like, I'm not the only one who's, like, made that... Uh, Observation. That's what it appeals a lot to women. Right. And that's cool. Whatever. There needs to be social network that appeals to sure. all kinds of different yeah. uh, niches. And or you could just like get on Facebook and share that stuff on Facebook. Like yeah, but people. it's a, it's more like a scrapbooking a idea collection right. thing. Like I know a person who uh, they're having a wedding coming up, and so they pin things related to the wedding ideas for the wedding yeah. there, and it's just like their little collection of. Ideas Don't you think eventually that'll get just stagnated and it'll be like the same things, same like two things getting pinned, like, uh, you know, infinite times eventually? Like, you know... It might, but that depends on whether the company can grow and adapt to whatever they need to do. That's all dependent on them. Right now, it's perfect for what it is, but it'll eventually change. It'll eventually be uh, Rick Rolls, Barrel Rolls, and Duck Rolls. Awesome. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Never gonna give you up! <laughs> Uh, but Kevin Rose is at Google now, and they're going to, you can, I know Milk's influence is going to be like all over the place. They're going to work on Android, they're going to improve their mobile apps, they're going to improve their social stuff, and their social is going to bleed into everything all the way to search. I mean, it's it's going to happen, and it's a big move, not just because, one, it's Kevin Rose and he's a big name, it's the fact that it's essentially this kid I mean, who's been tapped by one of the biggest co internet companies in the world probably possibly the biggest internet company i would say so okay mm -hmm. just go fix <clears throat> our shit right <laughs> okay you know i had never even heard of kevin rose or who he is or what he does until until you just mentioned him right now so really? he found yeah. it he's yeah. and as you know i'm a pretty techie guy i'm a, well, well i was i was just well, did you ever it, watch tech tv back in the day yeah, yeah he was he was on it oh he was the dark tipper yeah on tech tv with leo laporte awesome yeah good to know i didn't know that yeah he uh he started there and then he founded dig and then uh revision three does a lot of uh internet tv content host of dig nation yeah i actually met him he yeah he got to meet him finally in his final show but um no, for you using Dig so much, I figured you, you knew who he was. Uh, yeah, he's like, no, no, no. I mean, I knew who he was a year after I started using Dig. Yeah. yeah. See? There, yeah, there yeah. I am with that. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Rose and Alex <laughs> Albrecht. <laughs> Your cool. thumbs look huge. You should. They look like really long. Uh, you should hold them too rapidly. Put a link to that in the video description. Yeah. You can't see it. Don't look at it like that. <laughs> uh, I gotta adjust. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was a good show. He was so fucking show. wasted when he took this picture. Was he? Yeah, That's I can good. Like, granted, there was like a thousand people there, so one, I wouldn't expect him to remember me anyway. You should tell him anyway if you, like, if you, if you really remember me. Remember me? Oh, yeah. And just, just, just that even if there, were, no, no, no. if there was three people there, he would not remember me because of just how much he drank. No, no <laughs> that uh, day. But I'm saying, like, um, even if he wanted to, is what you're saying. If he wanted to if remember, he wanted you, to remember you're yeah. saying he was so drunk that he would he, not. But I'm saying, like, like if, if you ever he meet him, he, uh, he fucking chugged eight beers and a thing of uh, whiskey. I like this guy. Okay. <laughs> like, they drink their entire show, though. Yeah, that's awesome. It was a. Well, it they was, used to. It was like. A, <laughs> It was a two-hour show and just non-stop chugging the entire way. And it was the like show. The show. And it was the last show they were ever gonna do. Sounds like the man show. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. It was. Um, it was awesome. <laughs> it's pretty hilarious. No, I was just gonna say at the you... end he was just like, "This is what you asked for," as they're fucking up their stories. It's <laughs> <laughs> like because you keep telling me to chug, so yeah, I keep that's cool. doing yeah. it. No, if uh, if you meet him and you meet him more than once, but yeah. you should do it when the first time, just in case you meet him. Again. Remember me again. Just say remember me. And he's gonna be like, from what? He's like, no, nah, you know, and just like make some bullshit up. Yeah, and you'd be like, skydiving, sure. dude, skydiving yeah, in the Bahamas. Yeah, yeah. You'd be like, I've never been to the Bahamas. You're like, yeah, you have, dude. Yeah. I was there. Yeah. yeah. You, you no, have I'll, say, I'll say something that'll be plausible. I'd be like, remember me? We met at FOA. And he'd be like, I think so. Like, in London, 2008. And be like, yeah. I'm like, I was talking about, like, news aggregation. And be like, yeah, I think so. <laughs> no, yeah, just, <laughs> just do that. 
and every single time be like, I'm that guy. But do you also remember me from, or do you remember me? Or no, just say you remember me and then make something else. Years down the road after like we've worked together, I'd be like, dude. I only ever first met you in your last <laughs> yeah. He's like, we didn't meet it. He's like, no, we met. I remember. I'm like, no, nah, I made that up. He's like, it's like, but I remember it. No, I like, created no. the memory. Yeah, yeah. because you were telling me like, so many years. Uh, Inception. You're yeah. like, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, just that's, do it. I think I will. I think I'll do, do that. that. Yeah. Next time you have the. Uh, Maybe it'll get me an in. It might. <laughs> okay. And he's like, he's like, I remember him. You said some some smart stuff. This guy. Like, yeah, this guy. I'm like, like sure. Yeah, I totally said some smart stuff. No, you totally didn't. No, you just <laughs> no. the whole thing. Oh man. All right. What else we got? Moving on. Yeah. Moving, moving on. on. Since uh, we're talking about uh, entrepreneurs, the tech world and entrepreneurship. And the tech world. Uh, you brought this infographic about mm-hmm. racism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or faux racism. Or faux racism. Uh, it's kind of, uh, you know, a gray area, area, but... In the tech industry. In the tech industry, right. And Silicon Valley, to be more specific. Yeah, and there's a couple things that I want to um, point out. Which the pictures is, didn't load for me, so I'm going to have to look well, at you guys. Median, <laughs> it's like median amount of funding for uh, startups in the U.S. For an all-black team is 1.3. For an all-white team is 2.3. 2.3 million. That and is a big difference in money. That's a big difference in money, but you have to also consider one: how many all black teams exactly are going? Exactly. Oh, That's why I'm it. saying it's a gray area because I thought you were gonna say it's because they're white. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, sh- I'm sure there's that probably awesome. some. I'm sure there's probably some preferential treatment, okay, to white. I don't doubt that there's some inherent racism or institutionalized racism, but this number doesn't mean that it's that they're racist. It just means that there's less. So typically the numbers don't lie, but the numbers might actually lie in this case. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Uh, internet company founders nationally in the U.S., uh, and one person is 1%, according to the ratio. Right. Mm -hmm. 87% have been white. Mm -hmm. 12% have been Asian, which the Asian populace is actually pretty small in the U.S. compared to blacks and whites. Yeah. And only 1% has been black. Yeah. Again, well, that's a numbers game, but right. it's still there's, looking there's, at it in that aspect. And that's a, horribly racist. And well, there's a one percent error uh, margin of error there too. So yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, so that could be zero. Right exactly. there. It could be zero. <laughs> it could be zero. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the thing is, we we don't know how many there are. Uh, this actually, Kevin Rose has a show called Foundation where every month he talks to a new entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Cool. That's uh, a good show. Uh, yeah, good show. and he talks to them for like thirty to forty some minutes. Just about how they got started, where their idea came from. I like I like that a lot of them like lied about it in the beginning. Yeah, half the people were like like uh, uh, Chris Saka, one of the big uh, investors in the Valley, um, was just like for the longest time he's like I just made up shit. He's like he's like I had no experience when I started. He's like I made a fake company, I made a fake website, I made fake business cards. Why not? And, and I made up words. And, and then like, you got your foot in the door. And he's yeah. like and I would go to places saying I could do this. And he's like and then one day Google hired me to uh basically equip their data centers and I had no idea how to do any of it. Oh my god. <laughs> and awesome. Like, and he's like but I pulled could it out. Could he get fired for that? I mean, they well, no, it's like he lied his way through that job. <laughs> And he actually got them all built, and then he just he made so much money. And this was all before Google IPO'd, so oh, he made a fortune. Wow! And now he's a yeah. A lot dude, of that's like, like that's a like lying on your resume. You can get kicked out of college for that. You yeah. can get you know fired from your job for lying on your resume. Yeah. Okay. How is this any different? Because he, just, because he did the job, and, and, and it's because that's just the spirit of, of the valleys. Can you do the job? That counts a lot more. Yeah. Than yeah. Whether that, you got that, the degree. But um, no, I, I just thought it was funny that you know I think. Fifty percent. I'd say yeah, yeah, a good, a good half. Yeah, Straight up, just like lied in the beginning. They lied, or they bullshitted like... severely, uh, or they stole. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, like well, they look got... at fucking Gates and uh, yeah, yeah, it was know, the same, pretty much same, same idea. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but on the show, I have yet to see uh, a black person. Yeah, I seen a woman. <laughs> a woman. A we got, we got a one. one. I saw we got one. No, I saw a CEO woman. of TaskRabbit was the only uh, woman that I saw on there. But wow. No, I have all yeah, white I saw, and I saw an Asian, one Asian guy, hmm. okay, who actually used to work with Kevin. Started uh, this new thing. I can't remember what's the one where the um, achievements give you actual wor- real world. Uh, oh crap! I stuff. forgot. There's a thing where this guy made this thing where you play a game on your phone, and you know how you get an achievement on your phone. Except instead of just a thing saying, "Hey, you got so many gamer score or whatever," it would go, "Hey, because you've uh, completed this goal in the game." 
we are giving you 10% off uh, like at Dillard's or we're giving you a free coffee at Starbucks. Oh, yeah. okay. They give you really real cool. world uh, prizes. I forgot the name of the company. Yeah, I can't remember. But it's, either. yeah, it was pretty cool. Okay. Uh, no, he talked to two agents, Tony Hayes from Zappos. He talked to him. Oh, yeah, that guy. That was a good one. Yeah. Um, but no black entrepreneurs. And it's a thing like every now and then I'll see on TechCrunch an article like, why aren't there more women? And there was a good opposing article is because we got other shit to do. <laughs> True. Okay. The women yeah. were like, we're like, we get what? penalized for not being entrepreneurs. And like, but most of us, whether it's Wanna by society or whatever, decide to have families and well, not see, be career women. That's what I was going to say. I noticed that. Um, it, it's, yeah, they kind of, I mean, as sexist as it sounds, <clears throat> and I'm being realistic. I'm just being a realist. Yeah. Women have a different role in life, typically. Your typical woman has a different role in life than your typical man. Yeah. Not because by choice. Have to. By choice. Yeah. yeah. It's not because that's what we think you should do, but because that's just how the yeah, world works right I, now. And I think that's the essence of feminism is choosing if you want to start a family to start do it a family. and if you don't don't yeah, yeah exactly okay mm -hmm. uh, uh, but but you, you you have the same a great point um, pretty much the same you know with black people it's their their choice and a lot of them right now just are doing other things um, they're doing other things they, or well there's a ton of entrepreneurs out there there's a there's a ton of African American right. uh, uh, entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, right? But but they're, but they're not in the tech industry. That's what I was about yeah, to say. Yeah. Is that they're just not in the tech industry. You, you're seen, saying they have other interests exactly. than entrepreneurs. I've seen in technology. I've seen yeah. a lot of um, ultra entrepreneurs that were black that are just have their you know fingers in other pies. I, I guess you could say. Uh, Chappelle made a great observation that yeah. a lot of the rappers are big entrepreneurs. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. there's a lot sure. of other things. Especially like when it comes to. Um, uh, like VIP transportation, a lot of these rappers are going out True. and like making these companies. Uh, but he said has vitamin water. Yeah. Well, he had had vitamin water, but still. And he's actually he's the reason why it was as big as it was. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, see, that's that's another thing too. They're just not in the tech world, so a lot of people aren't looking at them directly. They're not, you know, that's not their interest right now. Okay. You know, and, and I'm not saying that there isn't some racism, okay, involved. Right. There, there probably is uh, a few black entrepreneurs who tried to get money and the bank said no. Right. Or an angel investor said no because uh, they're black. Kind of playing to the same tune, but not, you know, again, gray area. I actually used to work for Best Buy. Mm -hmm. And I'm a Mexican-American. I am a bilingual person. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I market myself as such. And when I came to Best Buy, I said, this is what I am. This is what I can do. I know a lot about computers. I'm a computer tech. Uh, give me a job and they're like oh we could put you in TVs or appliances <laughs> I'm like no I want to be in the computer department okay that's fine I want to be a tech uh, maybe not and then they they put me on the sales floor uh, and this is very early in my career um, they put me on the sales floor and I was a sales associate for about a year and a half and uh, I distinctly remember once uh, it was like three or four months into my career with with Best Buy I said uh, to my uh, MOD manager on duty, duty yeah, um, you know why? Uh, you know I'm a, I'm a Spanish speaking person. Uh, you know why am I not having better opportunities than everybody else? You know because I'm the only person in the department that speaks Spanish. He literally said to me, because Mexicans don't buy computers. And I said, are you fucking, I wanted to fucking slap this guy. And he, he's a, he's an older, not, not old. He was like maybe in his late forties. Yeah. He's a, he's a wise guy. He's actually a very smart guy, but I could not believe that that came out of his mouth. I was like, are you And kidding? the thing is, it's like, I worked at Circuit City for two years and that's just a false statement. It absolutely. It's, <laughs> a false statement. it's an ignorant thing to say, <laughs> but again, racism in the tech world. Yeah. I didn't have any more opportunities than someone who was, uh, what's the difference between bilingual and not bilingual? Unilingual. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I have a skill that not a lot of people do. Right. Okay. And and one, especially that, in the Southwest. Exactly. We live in Arizona. Right. There's a lot of Spanish speaking people here. Yeah. Um, but that didn't get me anywhere. You know, yeah. and anywhere else in the world, that gets you somewhere. Mm -hmm. That gets you a little bit extra. Yeah, there was right. something at, at Circuit City. We had uh, we had Spanish speaking employees, yeah. and we would we'd always have to call them, and be like, "Hey, yeah. uh, help us out." But if you would ask management who was next in line, 
to be like supervisor, it was me, and I can't speak Spanish at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and like my numbers were not as good as some of those other people because I can't service right. literally like half right. of the customer base. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And I mean, I'm in the same. But it, did, right now. it didn't yeah. matter. Yeah, you're trying to learn Spanish. Right. Okay. It didn't matter that I didn't know Spanish. It's just. But yeah, I'm, that I'm, in, guy. <laughs> I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat with Amir. Like my numbers. Uh, where I work right now, I'm probably, you know, in the middle somewhere. Mm. And because also, you don't have the edge that I don't, Spanish I, speaking yeah, associates I, I can't, I can't communicate. Right. I mean, if I could communicate, I'd probably be, you know, number one or two. Right. Because I, in, I'm not just saying that because I think I'm great, but I'm also, I'm just saying that because... But you know your ability, you know your know product, product, and you can sell. Exactly. Right. But if and you can't, if literally you, cannot communicate with a large portion right. of your customer base, you're not going to sell your product. Exactly. Yeah. And I'm, and you know, when asked next in line, I am next in line. Well, I'm getting a transfer to Texas. Right. And to be trained as a store manager. Another place where Spanish so would be like, exactly. incredibly useful. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, as far as everyone else is concerned, at least to date, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. yeah. I, you know, little uh, sprinkles of racism there. Yeah. yeah. Also, I, I couldn't no, believe that no I was Mexicans on this list. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. No, no, Mexicans. His, no Hispanics. No Hispanics. No. Exactly. Well, you know what? Um, technically, we fall under white because Mexicans aren't a race. We're a. Uh, but you see on the forms, they're like, uh, like always white, right? Uh, white, Caucasian, non-Hispanic. Exactly, and and it's um, okay, so. it, you're either uh, like according well according to the state of Arizona, you're either white, black, Native American. Other? Or other, <laughs> and I think I'm pretty sure Asians and Hispanics fall under white technically, uh, because you can't put other unless you're like Inuit or something. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't oh, know yeah. what other is <laughs> for. Yeah, no, because they usually have Pacific Islander too. Right. Okay. But um, I've seen I've seen Hispanic or Latino. I have. Seen but that's under times. ethnicity. It's not under race. That's under ethnicity. That's true. Because there is white well, yeah, Hispanics, I mean, if, there is I guess if Afro you're, Hispanics, if you're there get, are Asian Hispanics. If you're gonna yeah. get technical. I mean, come from Europe originally, right? So, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, just trying to. I mean, same like, thing with uh, people together to me sounds racist. Okay, I mean, uh, with me there is no Middle Eastern or, or Arab checkbox. Oh, so then you would get the other. Is okay, what even under no, I would get a. White. white. He always goes under white. White. Uh, white. Classification is. Uh, and then your ethnicity is Middle Eastern. No, it's still white. Is it really? Yeah, because because uh, Arabs technically uh, are Caucasian. Huh. Because they descend from the Caucasus region. Oh, touche. Yeah. Very good point. Just, Very so, well made. Very well put. So yeah, I get I get all the benefits of being white. You fucking but cracker. <laughs> I don't have to be. <laughs> I don't have you to be. You fucking slave driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get the the perks without. Having to burn in the sun, exactly. Right. You stay out in the sun for five exactly. minutes. I love that, by the way. That's my favorite part of being Mexican. Yeah. I could I, be outside on the beach with my shirt off three days, and I'll probably get a little bit of a glow. Not me. I was out for six hours with my face. It's all that. You're not. You don't look burnt. Want to see my chest? I really would rather not. I don't. Want to see your chest. Nice. Yeah. It's all that nice. French blood. Yeah, it is. Is hey, you French, know French and Polish. But the thing is, though, I can take cold very well. Yeah. Like I can stand in snow. You're not built fly. for the desert. I'm not built for the desert. I am built for sand. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, we need to move on. We yeah, have way too much to talk about. All right, next article, topic of discussion, the Federal Bureau of Idiots. Yeah. Now, I didn't read this, so you're going to have to break this down. Okay, so there was a pimp, uh, and he was located in, I'm trying to skim through this because I already forgot, San Diego. Okay. okay. Uh, he... You know, doing whatever pimps do. Pimping. Pimp, 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 pimp and hose daily. Pimp and hose daily. Right. Their pimp hands um, yeah. Basically, the the FBI. I'll I'll, I'll try and keep it short because we're trying to jam a lot of stuff in here. Right. Yeah. The FBI got his phone. He's been doing this for years. He went to prison. He got out. Went to prison. Got out because he keeps doing the same thing over and over. Okay. He gets out. Pimps more women. Gets thrown in jail. Oh, uh, wait. Is he Mitchell? Is he black? He is black. Oh my God. Racist. 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 He's racist. racist. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> he is, unfortunately. And I say unfortunately because that's a horrible stereotype that right. a black man is a pimp. But in this case, what are you going to do? Right. Uh, the FBI got hold of his phone, right? Mm -hmm. And the brilliant genius minds at the Federal Bureau of Investigation could not 
figure out the simple pattern lock on his Android phone. Well, they yeah. subpoenaed they subpoenaed Google to For get them. the like encryption to fix or open his his phone lock so they can get evidence on his phone. Well, if you, I mean, it's a uh... It's the fucking FBI. Yeah. Yeah, but it it's that's not a, like a simple problem to solve. I mean, I would think it is. It's a three by three grid of dots uh, with near infinite number of patterns that you can that you can draw on it. That's not like a a trivial thing to solve. It's not. It's still just a grid, a, a three by three grid though. Like uh, a password on your computer where you have how many characters on a keyboard and and plus shifts. You know what I mean? Like. That is, to me, that is literally endless, and they can crack that. Yeah. Well, it's a different so, type of problem. Okay, this would fall... It's still the FBI. And well, when, when me... I see things like this, and, and people, you know, give me the 9-11 conspiracies, if they can't fucking figure this out, how could they... And I'm not saying one way or the other on the 9-11 conspiracy bullshit, but if they can't figure out a 3x3 three three grid password, and they have to get fucking... Uh, Google to tell them how to do it. What makes you think that the government is watching you and all this? You know, like, <laughs> oh, dude, they're fucking just as dumb as like anybody else. They're just dumb. They're just regular people. You know what I mean? Yeah. They have resources to do cool and crazy shit. But if like again, like you're saying, this is a totally different problem. They couldn't figure it, it out. It's a totally different problem because like, uh, we when I was in college, we were talking about uh, game design mm -hmm. and algorithms. And the, the notion of NP, uh, NP is complexity came up, which is non-deterministic polynomial time. Right. Uh, and basically, that'll come up when the idea was, at what point can you s determine the end of a chess match? Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, because you're not thinking about what's happening right now. You're, you're thinking, thinking three or four steps ahead. Yeah. And it's, can you figure out... When you so how to win on the first move, the second move, the third move, the fourth move? Like when can you determine I've I, won the I, game? I've already won. Yeah. Okay. And the the goal is to get it to before you move a piece to determine I've won the game. Mm. Okay. And the thing is that falls into uh, NP. It's just not doable, at least as we understand it. Another thing that falls into that is uh, an infinite loop, which is if you run a piece of code indefinitely, the system crashes. Like pi. Yeah. Right. Uh, although you can cheat with Pi. You can cheat, yeah. Uh, but it'll just crash. And trying to like... Pi's delicious, by the way. It is. Very delicious. Key lime? Oh, awesome. <laughs> I have ADD, sorry. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm like... Key lime. It's, uh, <laughs> you can't determine... If Cheesecake! <laughs> Cheesecake! <laughs> for key lime! I'm gonna go grab some Pi now. <laughs> for any given piece of code, you can't run it through a system that'll determine that there might be... Uh, an infinite loop. That's another NP problem. Hmm. Okay. You just you can't debug it. You just have to hope that you didn't fuck up your logic at some point. And that's all far beyond me. Like I don't. Again, I, I we've said this before. Yeah. I don't get. Yeah. Like, like drawing coding. like images, like moving from one space to another space, and then determining this is going to be the pattern that unlocks it, uh, a device or wins the game of unlocking it, could be crazy. Because there's a bunch of different patterns that it could possibly be, uh, and there's no limit on no, what you can do on yeah. that thing. You could do. I messed two, with it. Yeah. You can connect two dots, and that's your three password. dots, right. all the dots. You can do it this way. Yeah. You can do it the other way. Right. Yeah. Know? And it just comes to the point where it's like, that's insane to figure out how many nodes that you have. They to should have multi-touch on that too. That would be fucking so you're crazy. Like, yeah, you're like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> Answering the phone would be yeah. crazy. <laughs> Hold on! Like, I got a text quick! <laughs> or like you're, you're in navigation and like it, the screen turns off, you turn it on, you're like, oh shit, you're like driving. <laughs> That'd be a fucking disaster. Yeah. Multi-touch kills millions. <laughs> yeah. driving. You have it on your lap and you're like this. <laughs> yeah, you're like not even looking at the road. <laughs> That's actually happened with me on my regular one-touch like code. Yeah. That's why I don't do it. I just I do have because this on again, if FBI can't figure it out, if some asshole steals my phone, they're not. I can not remote wipe my phone if I lose it. Oh, you're right. Phone. Yeah, they could they could wipe your phone too. Actually, I think about it. Yeah. So, so actually, I don't know if they can if, if it's locked. 
I still think I have to enter something in. I can just remote wipe my phone, so I just, I don't care. <laughs> like, I'm not, first of all, there's nothing on, if someone got this, it's, it's going to suck for me because oh, I need this device to, like, get by, mm -hmm. but it's not going to be like, they're going to ruin me. It's, right, yeah. It's, oh, You're just like, I'll just buy another one. It's like, oh, that's unfortunate. Wipe. Okay. <laughs> and I'll just have to go get another one. Right. right. Ah, uh, jeez, we're we're falling behind here. Uh, yeah, we are so behind. We're super behind. I think the Street Fighter was it a point that needed to be debated. But yeah. Okay, so uh, the next Xbox is to lose its disc drive. Yeah. What do we think about that? I'm down. I'm not down. I'm so not down with that. What, what well, the thing is, it it depends because it only says that it's going to lose the disc drive. It does not say it's going to lose physical media. Oh, touche. So you're thinking USB drive or something? Something. An SD card? As long as I... Okay, look. Or some provider. This is why I'm not down. I'm gonna just... Okay. Come over here. He grabs all the games off the right. shelf. This. You know, in... in I, I have... Uh, I'm not really a collector. I'm really not. But the fact that I have... Boxes upon boxes upon boxes of Super Nintendo games, regular Nintendo games, shows that I care about what I'm purchasing, and that's a part of my childhood, that's a part of my adolescence, that's a part of my adulthood. Mm -hmm. This connects me to experiences that I've had, and every time I look at... Not to mention, it's... Really every, time for, I, uh... every time I look... None of these games really, I really don't care about any of these games actually, now I think about it. But I might in 20 years. Right. And what I'm saying is when I pick up my Super Punch-Out cartridge, I'm like, it just like, things happen to me that I'm like, <laughs> I felt so much when I held this right. as a child right. and said, okay. wow, I have a connection to this inanimate object. And if I have not media, not a box, not a picture of Ryu punching Kazuya, yeah. and you know, uh, sure, I'll remember the game if someone brings it up, but I'm not going to be like, find that in the attic in like 20 years and be like, oh, right, you right. know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That, I that's that what totally. ruins it for me. That's, that's what ruins it. That's and why I don't like the, it. the fact that just having them allows you to rediscover a game. Exactly. Like, at a glance. Exactly. You can be looking at it and like, oh, I remember that? Oh, yeah. 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 I, I see mean, a Metal Slug box, I'm like, Oh, that game kicked ass, dude! I'm gonna play that. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you don't you, you, you don't lose have that. that. Yeah, exactly. But you know, I think that's just because we grew up with it. Yeah, it's everything's nostalgia. changing now. That yeah, right? For, for that is, we're we're just gonna be the happen. dinosaurs. That is gonna yeah. disappear. We're gonna be grandpa. And they're gonna look <laughs> at us, and we're gonna be like, check this out. And like, you're holding a disc. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! Yeah, or no, Who even is an asshole yeah. holding a disc. Or no, even worse, you pull out a, a cartridge. You're like, let me hook this up, and they're just like, what the fuck what is the that? It, that? That doesn't spin. And then, yeah. That's not aerodynamic. And then yeah. when you go, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna freak out. <laughs> that, no. That's already happening to us, dude. Oh no, that's already happening. No, I got I got a story about my my, yeah. my stepbrother he's uh, he's younger than I am and he's like oh man I love Sonic the Hedgehog it's so great my brain he hooked up the, the Sega yeah my in, my brain instantly goes Sega Genesis yeah yeah man that was so good so I start, Sonic 1 I start awesome. talking about it and everything and he's like I meant Dreamcast and I'm like you yeah. motherfucker yeah, <laughs> get out exactly. get out hooking up the Sega yeah he said he didn't right. call the Dreamcast the Dreamcast he said, he said Sonic, and he said Sega. He said, I'm hooking up the Sega. Sonic is so great. I love Sonic. I loved playing it when I was a kid. Me not thinking about it, because he's younger than me. I his definition of kid is very different. His definition of Sega is the Dreamcast. My definition of Sega is the Genesis. Mine's the Master System. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. But still, still. like, gen yeah, when I think Sonic, I definitely think the Genesis. Yeah. yeah. Because, because he wasn't because, around you know, the Master When you say Sega and then Genesis, or you say Sega and Sonic, you think Genesis. I automatically you say go to Genesis. Afterburner yeah. and Sega, you're going to think Master System. Right, right. So, you know, whatever. But, right, right, yeah. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. Children. Fucking kids! <laughs> Get off my lawn! You they're not going to care, kids. and then, you know, they're going to have the same thing with their kids. It's going to be like... No, it's just beams into your brain. They're like, but you don't have it on the screen to look at. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're gonna be like a pillow like, swallow. Oh, and you're yeah. just like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, oh, Sonic, quit jumping. Oh, you're gonna fall. You're gonna die. No, um, yeah. I, I'm all for it though because I like the idea of having everything here. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm paying yeah. something. I feel like I actually like got something for my money. No, I think you mean no, the other way around. Of, of I like the idea of going to a download downloading it, but I still have ah. the connection because it's like all here. And as long as I can keep whatever I download, I'm fine with it. The thing is, you know, because I mean, I it's it's it feels like emulators. Though. If you know what exactly, I mean? that's what I don't like about it. If the Xbox comes with no disc drive, it will definitely still support some sort of physical media. Oh, I, two I think that for sure. One, they've already said it's a hybrid system, mm -hmm. which means which means eventually that they're going to be completely... eventually it's going to be online only. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but they they did say it's going to be a hybrid system. So that's reason number one. Uh, reason number two is they have long-standing contracts with companies like GameStop mm -hmm. who rely oh. on selling and that, Yeah, selling there goes GameStop, games. by the way. That, yeah. The thing is, GameStop knows eventually it's going to go on. That's why they're getting into iOS devices and they sell the codes for downloads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, for DLC, so that you can just type it in. But And also right now, a third point is not everyone... Has a, that has an Xbox has a live. Right. I would say the majority. Don't. The majority do, but not everyone that has it does. I don't have live right now. Mm -hmm. I would. I think the majority doesn't have live, a and if they do, it's the silver account. Not a lot of. Well, well I, there is a huge, huge population that does have gold, but I still think the vast majority don't. Yeah, and those people. Cannot live on a download only. Yeah. Not to mention the people like we mentioned earlier. Yeah, by the time slow by the time direction. download only happens, no, it could be twenty years on. No, that's what I'm saying. Literally, like, well, yeah, because twenty years ago, there was not a person that didn't have a house phone. Yeah. Nowadays, nobody has a fucking house phone. Yeah, yeah. It, you know what it, I mean? it'll eventually happen. And like, was it? We're still we got a few more years, couple more years in the Xbox lifetime. Yeah. And the next one, if they do anything like with the current one, is going to have a 10-year run yeah. right. as well. And by that time, it'll probably get to the point where we can move to uh, to not this Xbox, the coming next coming Xbox, but the one after that, the next next Xbox. Right. Oh, my gamer score rolls over. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm pretty, well, actually, from Xbox One 360, you, you had to create a new Xbox Live account. Yeah. But they like, anyway. they majorly changed a lot. Of the yeah, but I mean, because you have a live account now, like you can log into your phone. Yeah, you have like ten thousand points, and these are the yeah, games right, you play. Right. I think, and that's, I think, I don't think I'm that's thinking, going away. I'm thinking that's just going to roll to the next generation. So. Yeah, I'd hope so. I, I really hope so. Yeah, I make it happen. It yeah. totally will because you can tell just, I mean, just with the way that they've updated the the UI. And then you're going to see these twice players over, like start playing in two thousand six. Okay. It's uh, 2048 now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like playing Street Fighter Four. We're up to like Street Fighter Infinity now. Yeah. What the hell yeah. are you doing? Yeah. Although I don't look at the date. Asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Eat shit, you little. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Get off my lawn. <laughs> Get out here. Oh man. But uh, yeah, I I think it'll be fine. So segueing into our next Se segueing into I, well, I let's mean, blast through these because yeah. we're running out of time. All right. Segueing all right. to the end of the show because look at the evil. Stare. We, women are staring at us. We technically could just end it there. Way. No. We could just Should we? we? I got a text. She said food. She said food. And I wrote almost With done. Extra O's. And that was like 20 minutes ago. Oh, all right. All right. No, yeah. I think. Because <laughs> I thought we were going to be almost. Okay. Real quick. Blips. And we'll, po we'll post the links to everything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. PayPal attacks Square. Square's a mobile payment system. It actually, I have. What is Square and why is it important? Square is great. Square is a mobile payment system. It's this guy. And what does that right do? Here. It goes into your phone. Okay. Boom, it's a point of sale system. Right. It's a register. Point of sales meaning it's anywhere. a register. You yeah, it's a register anywhere in the car. PayPal, PayPal is attacking is... it with the exact same thing, but it's a triangle. Right. right. Big. Waka waka waka. Yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> so uh, uh, Valve. We mentioned Valve in the last video. Uh, the uh, video game console that they might release. They're probably not going to, and if they do, it won't be for a long time, apparently, is what this uh, press release has said. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, you guys, before I was a member of the show, had mentioned the Neo Geo is right. back. Yeah. It is back, and they just uh, announced a price for it. It is way too much. Eight hundred dollars. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a gamer, and I buy a lot of stuff. I'm not paying. I'm not paying. I love Neo Geo, by the way. But that's, no, fuck that. That's the, that was one of the things I told Amir. I said it'll succeed if they make it cheap. It's gonna fail now. Oh, it's definitely. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dead. If they priced it, it at three fifty, I think a lot of people would have gone. It's I think, all expensive, but yeah. I think two hundred would have been perfect. Oh, I think that's too much. But the 200 thing is, would have been 200 for spot. a brand new system. That's a sweet spot. It would have dropped. No, because think about the DS. They're all 10-year-old games. 
The no, only no, people no. that are gonna buy them are nostalgic douchebags with money like us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not that we have money, by the way. Right. I fucking no, broke. we don't. We don't have money. Don't say but that. We're just <laughs> yeah. But but we're nostalgic old douchebags. There we they're, go. They're yeah. literally marketing to us, and yeah. I'm saying fuck that. But I told you, money. if they could start with that, but also create new games for it, it would succeed. But eight hundred dollars, no new games. Exactly. It's dead yeah. already. It's already dead. Yeah. It hasn't even. Been born and it's already dead. Yeah, yeah. still born. Still and, uh, born. Exactly. and last was uh, that was it. You're going to be able to use your browser in Metro or whatever. Oh right, yeah. Uh, and uh, Christina Hendricks' titties are on. Oh, too. also, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, for the next show, we want to do a live audience. Yes. Uh, filmed in front of a live ostrich. Live ostrich. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us for this episode. Yeah. It probably went way too long. Yeah, yeah it, it did. It went way, we'll like an hour and a half. Probably, maybe we'll leave it in two hours. I'll, I'll seriously just <laughs> stick them with the meat potatoes, so. All right. For next week, because we are filming on Sunday, because yeah. circumstances yeah. Shit yeah. Happened. Yeah, did, yeah, did shit happen. Yeah, shit did happen, but that's life, right? Yeah. yeah. Rolling punches, and uh, we'll see you yeah. next time. Yep. Cheers. <laughs>